everybody, it's Pete, Mind Wise Man's channel, aka Maverick Outdoors, and this is a response to a tag uh, for three survival items. Paul, his channel 007 Voxel, Paul is based in Denby, North Wales, he's a postman, good old traditional postie delivering our mail, uh, so of course he gets outdoors quite a bit. Um, he's a bit of a musician, plus as well he likes uh, sort of outdoor pursuits, a bit of trekking, walking around, enjoying nature, a bit of wild camping, a bit of bush, bushcrafting kit that he makes, etc. So that's how we linked up originally from YouTube, hence he's now tagged me for three survival items. I'm going to come at this, not a too serious approach, I know survival is very serious. Uh, I did previously, a little while ago, put up my five items, SHTF, shit hits the fan scenario, which would be my survival items. Um, so if you want to refer back to those, those would be the sort of five main ones. I know there's, you know, what's your top 10, what's your top 20? You know, we can go around in circles chasing our tail as far as uh, saying what the real things that we need for a survival scenario uh, are necessary. But here, I'm going to base it on, I don't know how it originated from Paul's original tag, how he was tagged, but he mentioned about sort of being dropped by a helicopter onto a desert island. So I'm going to do it based on that, on something a bit predictable. I know I'm going to have to be uh, having an exercise of survival on a desert island. So I know the sort of terrain is going to be dry, the weather's not going to be uh, sort of too cold. It's a desert island. Of course, there might be tornadoes, there might be tsunamis, there could be anything. Um, but initially, just surviving basically on a desert island for a period of time. I've chosen these three items. I know, as I say, the list is endless, but I'm just going to make it easy on myself. Cigarette lighter to light a fire. If I run out of fuel, I can still use the flint that's inside it. Or initially, by that time, I would have found some stones that I can break into flints and use those as strikers. But simply, cigarette lighter, get your fire going. Iodine tincture. Very versatile, can help treat water, treats a lot of viruses, uh, anti-contaminates viruses. Uh, also, for any injuries, you can place it on your skin to stop any bacteria. Uh, a multitude of purposes. So that's my second item, item, iodine tincture. And then the third item, a real generic Bowie, Bowie style, stainless steel, uh, strong knife, real generic, mass produced, stainless steel, very cheap, it's cost me about 15 quid. I use it for canoeing, I normally use it as a stake to go into soft earth to then tether up the uh, cord which then holds my uh, canoe against the riverbank, so I normally use this for tethering. Very seldom uses its sharpness on this little bit of the blade. It might do here, when it digs into the ground first of all, but I'd sharpen this up, hone it up, make it really razor sharp and take this with me. Uh, it's got a serrated edge, just to sort of bit, do a bit of cutting. I've used that when I've got uh, on some backwaters and I've needed to take some of the overhanging branches and foliage out of the way, and this has been a real boom. So this, is, this has served about three different purposes within this knife for canoeing. So I'd take this with me, knife, cutting, uh, prepping food, heavy duty, long, um, a little bit more usage than maybe just your general bushcraft knife. But I'm just thinking, you know what, I fancy a change. Don't want to be too super technical about it, but these things I know with my knowledge, my experience, being dropped on a desert island as best as possible, these would get me through three items. So thanks for watching. I'm sure you have a lot of comments saying maybe, yeah, well, you should have a fire steel and you should have this and you should have that. We can all appreciate different ideas, but just um, coming from my angle, I just like the idea of actually having this as a backup. I always have this in my first aid kit anyway. I could have had a first aid kit, but I thought, no, I'm going to be a bit minimalist here. Big knife, iodine tincture, no grafting starting the fire. Drop me in the desert island. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you again soon.